everybody, and welcome to Goosey Games. It's time for another episode of The Quest for Everything. I know you've missed it. I can't remember the last time I did an episode. <laughs> uh, but this is the episode that we'll have out this week. I am down in my mine. While I've been taking a little bit of a break from the recording, I have been doing a lot of grinding way down here. Collecting obsidian and the stone and just mining away. And you say, well, Goosey, if you've been mining so much, why don't you have diamond everything right now? Well, I did. And then I fell into lava, and it all got burned up. So, I'm back to iron a little bit for now. <laughs> uh, but, I'm not going to bore you guys. Was I down there? Oh, holy cow. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with me hanging around down here. Looking at the gray tunnel walls. So interesting. New. No, we're going to go up. Back up to the surface. <clears throat> and. Excuse me. Back up to the surface. And get some other chores done. <laughs> and. Oops. And remind you. Uh, of what's next. What my eventual goal is. Which is to collect. All of the things. I love that you can eat while climbing up a ladder and it doesn't even slow you down. <laughs> so, if you're new to this series, this is my beautiful storage room. It not only stores the stuff that I collect while mining. We should take care of some of that stuff. Let's uh, smelt up this iron. And let's put away our cobblestone. Boop, boop, boop. We get lots of that when we're mining. We don't need so much of it right now. And then we will put away our granite, diorite, andesite, gravel and flint, some dot. Put away our redstone. We got lots of it that time. Wow. We don't even. We're not even using this yet, and we got tons. We will have no shortage of if we ever want to make something redstone based. And the iron. So, and then here's some more things, you know, for food and armor and tools and mob drops and stuff like that. And here's my enchanting room, and then here is where I'm collecting one of everything in the game. As you can see, I have a lot. There's some stuff I still need to get. I need... Uh, just pointed out... It was just pointed out to me by somebody that I need snow, and I passed up a whole bunch last time I was exploring, so I'm going to have to keep a lookout for that. Next time we look for jungle wood, which I also do not have, snow will go somewhere right in here because it's alphabetical order. And then the other thing we shall be doing... Wait, what time is it? Okay, it's daytime. That's good. I should decorate this house someday. This is kind of boring. <laughs> uh, then once we have a little of everything, over here... Oh, I made my render distance really short. It looks kind of cool, looming up out of the fog. All of this, and all down in here... This is going to become a museum to show off my collection. So, that is where we are. And we have uh, a lot to do. We need to go to the nether and gather quartz and nether brick for this whole area. And we also need to collect sand because this is going to be a giant glass dome. We need to... What else? Over here, see, I got, uh, well, why not? It's going to be a thing. I just, I'm working on it right now. What I'm working on is I am setting up a Patreon account. And if you decide you would like to support me and be a patron, starting about here, because I, I want it to be close to, to my house and to the museum. I want it to be adjacent. I'm going to be building a cute little patron city. Um, I'm still deciding on the tiers. I know if you are contributing anything, even a dollar, then you'll get a sign right there. And the next tier would be you get a tree with your name on it, stuff like that. The very next tier, you get a tiny house, so that's something. And the next one, maybe you get a pet to put in your house, something like that. Please let me know your thoughts on this, because I want it to be something that, you know, you guys will appreciate and that I can show off to people for you and that kind of thing stuff uh, as a thank you for your support. 
Uh, what else do we need to do? Oh yes, the other major chore we need to do around here is we need to separate the eminals. We, I have my, my sheep and my cows all mixed up, and that's just not going to do it for me. So someday I need to separate these guys. I could do that today. I'm not sure. I need to breed more chickens because I need more food. So let's collect some eggs and see if we can breed a whole bunch of chickens and then kill them off. <laughs> so I'll do that. I'll be right back after I finish throwing some eggs. See you soon. Goosey, why don't you set up an automatic chicken breeder? I should. I really, really should. Smudge, is that you? Get out of the wall. There we go. That's not Smudge. Where's Smudge? Guys, where's Smudge Face? Where did I park him? Smudge Face! Whoops. I didn't leave him down in here, did I? I might have. Let's find Smudge and then let's build ourselves a chicken farm. Smudge! Smudge, smudge. Now you guys get a look at this from the bottom if you haven't seen it already. It's pretty amazing. I gotta I gotta clear all this out. Oh man, what a chore. There he is! Hey Smudge! And you're I didn't know you had company. Come on, guys. So I'm recording this on a Tuesday. And so we are playing with the 1.9 pre-release number two. Hey, where'd they go? Where are they? Aren't they supposed to follow me? Hey, there's the red one. Where's Smudge Face? Come here. Where's Smudge? You sit. Here's Smudge! Smudge is my traveling buddy. There he is. Silly dog. You stay up there. You know, I can't remember off the top of my head how to build my <laughs> chicken farm. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that the next episode. It's just one of those days. I'm too tired. The sun's going down anyway. Let's go sleep. You know, we could just build the chicken farm down here. Keep it underground with us. I don't know, it's getting a little crowded right here, though. Oh, hey, did you guys see that? I was laying in the bed and I could see myself. Oh, that's awesome. Guys, if you haven't been playing 1.9 yet, I've been playing with the snapshots in this world uh, from the beginning. And... I mean, this... It's, it's pretty amazing. You know, there's, there's some stuff that's going to break, and there's some stuff you're just going to have to deal with. Stuff that's going to, you know, you got to relearn how to fight, and that kind of stuff. But there are some really nifty changes. The end is so much more interesting to start with. Like, once you... Before, once you killed the dragon, it was like, well, that's it. You know, why do you <laughs> build a, an ender farm, and that's it. But now, like, there's places to explore, and there's other things to find. This, uh, being able to hold these torches here in my, in my left hand is pretty cool. I don't know why I gotta wave my torch every time I throw an egg, though. I wonder if I can dual throw eggs. Nah, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if I'm holding this. Hey! So I can pick with one hand and throw eggs with the other. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yes, Patreon is going to be a thing. I'm I'm a little nervous about it because it's it sounds okay. Well, I guess I should I guess I should say first off that it's not going to change the channel, or at least you know only in good ways. Like if you're not a patron, that's fine. I love you too. You can you can watch my channel and just support me that way, and that's totally okay. And I am just happy for every view that shows up and every comment. You know you guys are amazing, and I love your support. Um, this is just a thing. As, like, extra incentive for me. 
you know, it's going to be great motivation for me. It's going to be great communication with you guys. And if I happen to make, you know, anything, that'll make saving up for better equipment that much faster. And that will make the channel even better. Because, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about my laptop before. <laughs> It's gonna die eventually. We're gonna need a new computer. We're gonna need a new mic. We're gonna, you know, stuff breaks after a while. And I would just, my, my, my greatest fear is that the equipment I have is gonna break and then I won't be able to do this anymore and I'll miss you guys. And yeah, I don't want that. So this is, this is a step I'm taking to kind of help, help finance that and motivate me to keep putting out great content for you guys. This is the most exciting video ever. What are all these raw chickens doing in there? Where were those? Who died? What? Did... I'm gonna need to add another chest here too. Gee whiz. I'll put these downstairs. Um, where, where did that raw chicken come from? I'm so confused. Well, let's go cook the raw chicken. We can have something to eat. Yeah, oh, good, more fish. And then, let's go to the nether and see if we can start... Um... Where do I keep my feathers? Not there. Tools and weapons? Eh, why not? I don't know where I keep the rest of the feathers. Let's keep all the eggs in here. Let's go to the nether and see if we can uh, scout out where we're going to start digging stuff out. Because we're going to need a lot of quartz. And this pick is almost dead. Let us remedy. Bing! Oh yeah, we start out right out in the open here. That's fun. I don't even have a bow. If a gas comes, we're just gonna have to run, guys. I gotta oh, I gotta turn up my render distance. I can't see nothing. Okay, that's better. So I think Oh yep. Little lag while we generate the terrain. I guess it's already generated while we load the train. I mean, I guess I could just start right here and just start flattening everything. But I'm going to need tons and tons. Of this here, nether rack. We'll turn it into nether brick. I should start um, smelting logs to make charcoal for smelting other things, because I don't want to use up... I don't want to have to keep digging for coal, you know? And if you were hoping for a song, here's your song for today. That was terrible. You wait until I get my enchantments back, I will clear this place so fast. Here's some quartz right up here I can take without flattening everything. Yay, enchantments! And goodbye. Oh no, soul sand. <laughs> we gotta get a bow before we come back. <laughs> Yee. Oh, hello, pig man. What you gonna do? Come here. That don't make you dizzy? I get you. There. Well, you didn't even drop any gold. Stingy. Let's get our nether rack in here and smelt it up. Let's sleep a little bit. And we'll go get some logs and start those smelting so we will be ready to go for next time. My axe is almost dead. 
Max is almost dead, and so I'm seeing red. Let's repair the X. So we can chop and hex. And then chop more wood instead. Let's make another! Maybe we'll get on breaking on this one and get a super axe. Oh, I know how to make an axe. Uh, unbreaking, yes. Good, good, good. Now we put them together. Bing! Super axe! And the sun is going down. Right down in the ground. We gotta sleep and count some sheep cause the sun is going down. Geronimo! It is night. The clock says, see, it says it's night. Ugh. Try now. Try now, 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 now. Okay. Look at me, look at me laying in the bed with my axe all waving in the air. All the saplings! Whee! Oh, puppy! Ugh. Oh, puppies don't eat fish. How about some rotten flesh? There you go. Feel better? I don't get my way no more. What's this sign? Killed first cow in September. I'm glad I put that sign up. That's kind of cool. I should remember to do more of those. So when I come across them again, we can have a little uh, history lesson. <laughs> What's this one? Chop down first tree. That's where the first tree was. Well, I intend to be playing this world for a while, so... That's why it's nice to have a... Have my signs and reminders. As far as I know, this is the first challenge of its kind, and I'm the first one to do it. That pig in front of the flowers right there looks like he's wearing armor or something. <laughs> Armored pig. I think I probably have enough saplings to replant this, and then we can go get those logs melted. Smudge, why are you in the dirt? Look at that! Look at his little ears! Smudge, speak to me! Speak to me, boy! <laughs> what is this? Mojang, I found a glitch! Why is my puppy in the dirt? Oh my gosh, okay. Puppy! Here, boy! Where? <laughs> why is he in the dirt? Oh... Um, he's not dying or anything. He looks otherwise okay. Hi. <laughs> he, he's a prairie dog. <laughs> what? What are you? I can't make him sit or nothing. Okay, okay. Let's let's run away. Make him teleport. Maybe he'll end up on top of the dirt again. No. He's stuck in the dirt. My puppy is stuck in the dirt. Where is he? He's... Okay, there he is. Why were you in the dirt? You you like the dirt. I know you like your face in the dirt. That's your thing. Why, why was he swimming in the dirt? Alright, let's get these smelting. What we need first is nether brick stairs. So I'm just going to make a whole... That does not make very much at all. Oh, well. So, I'm going to call it, I'm going to say, you know, we got some chores done around the place, made some good progress. As you can see, we have a lot more to do, so please keep watching. Punch that like button. Like button. <laughs> I can talk words. <laughs> Punch that like button. And subscribe so you don't miss anything. And you don't want to miss a thing. So, 
thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Goosey Games. Bye-bye! Boing. Boing. Boing.